radiate boundless love towards the entire world. disciplined mind brings happiness. Conquer anger with non-anger. Conquer badness with goodness. Conquer meanness with generosity. Conquer dishonesty with truth. Those who cling to perceptions and views wander the world offending people. Drop by drop is the water pot filled. Likewise, the wise man, gathering it little by little, fills himself with good. I will not look at another's bowl intent on finding fault, a training to be observed. Let none find fault with others. Let none see the omissions and commissions of others. But let one see one's own acts done and undone. Should a person do good, let him do it again and again. Let him find pleasure therein for blissful is the accumulation of good. May all beings have happy minds. Delight in heedfulness. Guard well your thoughts. Should you find a wise critic to point out your faults, follow him as you would a guide to hidden treasure. Should a seeker not find a companion who is better or equal, let them resolutely pursue a solitary course. In whom there is no sympathy for living beings, know him as an outcast. Hatred is never appeased by hatred in this world. By non-hatred alone is hatred appeased. This is a law eternal. Live with no sense of mine, not forming attachment to experiences. Better it is to live 
one day seeing the rise and fall of things than to live a hundred years without ever seeing the rise and fall of things. One is not called noble who harms living beings. By not harming living beings, one is called noble. If a man going down into a river, swollen and swiftly flowing, is carried away by the current, how can he help others across? All conditioned things are impermanent. When one sees this with wisdom, one turns away from suffering. Do not grieve, having realized the nature of the world. To support mother and father, to cherish wife and children, and to be engaged in peaceful occupation, this is the greatest blessing. should not kill nor cause another to kill. They blame those who remain silent. They blame those who speak much. They blame those who speak in moderation. There is none in the world who is not blamed. Just as the great ocean has one taste, the taste of salt, so also this teaching and discipline has one taste, the taste of liberation. If with a pure mind a person speaks or acts, happiness follows them like a never departing shadow. As an elephant in the battlefield withstands arrows shot from bows all around, even so shall I endure abuse. The one in whom no longer exists the craving and thirst that perpetuate becoming, how could you track that awakened one, trackless and of limitless range? Suffering is attachment. Whatever precious jewel there is in the heavenly worlds, there is nothing comparable to one who is awakened. As a water bead on a lotus sleeve, as water on a red lily does not adhere, so the sage does not adhere to the seen, the heard, or the sensed. It is in the nature of things that joy arises in a person free from remorse. Experiences are preceded by mind, having mind as their master, created by mind.
Purity and impurity depend on oneself. No one can purify another. All tremble at violence. All fear death. Putting oneself in the place of another, one should not kill, nor cause another to kill. Ceasing to do evil, cultivating the good, purifying the heart. This is the teaching of the Buddhas. Understanding is the heartwood of well-spoken words. He who can curb his wrath as soon as it arises, as a timely antidote, will check snake's venom that so quickly spreads. Such a monk gives up the here and the beyond, just as a serpent sheds its worn-out skin. As I am, so are these. As are these, so am I. Drawing the parallel to yourself, neither kill nor get others to kill. Just as a solid rock is not shaken by the storm, even so the wise are not affected by praise or blame. We will develop love, we will practice it, we will make it both a way and a basis. There is no fear for one whose mind is not filled with desires. Whatever is not yours, let go of it. Your letting go of it will be for your long-term happiness and benefit. craving and thirst that perpetuate becoming. How could you track that awakened one, trackless and of limitless range? Meditate, do not delay, lest you later regret it. Whatever has the nature of arising, has the nature of ceasing. Resolutely train yourself to attain peace. Know from the rivers in clefts and in crevices, those in small channels flow noisily, the great flow silent. Whatever's not full makes noise, whatever is full is quiet. Whatever living beings there may be, feeble or strong, long, stout, or of medium size, short, small, large, those seen or those unseen, those dwelling far or near, those who were born as well as those yet to be born, may all beings have happy minds. If you knew what I know about the power of giving, you would not let a single meal pass without sharing it in some way. Let him not deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere. In anger or ill will, let him not wish another ill. Our 
Our life is shaped by our mind. We become what we think. Suffering follows an evil thought as the wheels of a cart follow the oxen that draw it. Our life is shaped by our mind. We become what we think. Joy follow a pure thought like a shadow that never leaves. If you meditate earnestly, pure in mind and kind in deeds, leading a disciplined life in harmony with the Dharma, you will grow in glory. If you meditate earnestly through spiritual disciplines, you can make an island for yourself that no flood can overwhelm. Good people keep on walking whatever happens. They do not speak vain words and are the same in good fortune and bad. If one desires neither children nor wealth nor power nor success by unfair means, no such a one to be good, wise, and virtuous. One who conquers himself is greater than another who conquers a thousand times a thousand men on the battlefield. Be victorious over yourself and not over others. Your own self is your master. Who else could be? With yourself well controlled, you gain a master very hard to find. Not by rituals and resolutions, nor by much learning, nor by celibacy, nor even by meditation can you find the supreme immortal joy of Nirvana until you extinguish your self-will. It seems that although we thought ourselves permanent, we are not. Although we thought ourselves settled, we are not. Although we thought we would last forever, we will not. Don't run after pleasure and neglect the practice of meditation. If you forget the goal of life and get caught in the pleasures of the world, you will come to envy those who put meditation first. Conquer anger through gentleness, unkindness through kindness, greed through generosity, and falsehood by truth. Train your eyes and ears, train your nose and tongue, the senses are good friends when they are trained. Train your body in deeds, train your tongue in words, train your mind in thoughts. This training will take you beyond sorrow. Like someone pointing to treasure is the wise person who sees your faults and points them out. Associate with such a sage. All wrongdoing arises because of mind. If mind is transformed, can wrongdoing remain? Whatever is not yours, let go of it. Your letting go of it will be for your long-term happiness and benefit. is to discover your work and then with all your heart to give yourself to it. I do not dispute with the world, rather it is the world that disputes with me. You cannot travel the path until you have become the path itself.
Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. If we could see the miracle of a single flower clearly, our whole life would change. The only real failure in life is not to be true to the best one knows. Be truthful. Do not yield to anger. Give freely, even if you have but little. The gods will bless you. The whole secret of existence is to have no fear. Never fear what will become of you. Depend on no one. Only the moment you reject all help are you freed. 